Hey guys, Buffalo here and welcome to another Binds video. In this video, we're going to talk about the best non-claw binds for both PlayStation and Xbox controllers. I personally believe that non-claw players can still be good at the game despite not having optimal controller handle and stuff like that. I still recommend claw and paddles if you want to become a good controller player. However, this video will definitely help you get better at Fortnite as a non-claw slash non-paddle player. Majority of the console community is a non-claw slash non-paddle and that is why I'm making this video. I want to help my fellow controller friends out there and I hope this video helps everybody out. Anyways, enough talking let's get right into the video starting off with the playstation controllers and this works for both playstation 5 and playstation 4 controllers if you are wondering starting off with arguably the most important bind we're going to put our edit bind on touchpad also if you're wondering how you press the touchpad without doing claw you press the touchpad on the top part of it here's a clip of ken beans showing how to press it let's press the button from the top with my pointer finger instead of pressing it with my thumb on the center over here moving on with switch mode let's put that on left stick to optimize our switch mode having Having an optimal bind for switch mode allows us, you know, to build quick, especially when you are getting shot. Having to move your finger to press your switch mode button takes a ton of extra time and you don't want to be chunked out before you can even place a wall. For pickaxe, I recommend triangle like every other controller player out there. Our jump should be on right stick because if it is on X or on another bind, you'll have to move your thumb away from your joystick, which is just very unoptimal. For crouching and sliding, place it on X. They should normally stay on the same bind. For reloading slash interacting, we're going to keep that on square. Finally, for tactical sprint, we're going to put that on circle and you can pretty much just press it once by enabling toggle sprint on which makes it 10 times more optimal than holding it. The building part should stay relatively the same with normal builder pro and anything different will mess you up. For the editing part, I recommend R1 to select tiles because it is faster in every way possible unless you have trigger stoppers and I recommend R2 to reset and L1 to confirm for really optimal editing. You can keep edit on release off with these binds because you're using your triggers to press the editing binds which makes it easier for you to edit without edit on release being on. Moving on to the Xbox controllers, I recommend having left stick on your edit first and foremost because it is the universal bind for editing on controller. I recommend Y for switch mode because it is a lot easier to press and you can time your builds easier with it if you want to pull out your pickaxe. Speaking of pickaxe, we're going to put that on B because it is easier to spam than Y in my opinion. And if you want to keep pre-edits, then I highly suggest having pickaxe on B. I recommend right stick for jump as well, regardless of what controller you have. The same goes for couching and sighting, which is on our A button. Then for reloading slash interacting, we're going to put that on X. For tactical sprint, we're going to put that on our select kind of button. I don't really know what you call that button. You want to press it like this, which is kind of hard to get used to, but with toggle sprint, it should be pretty easy to tap and go right back to where your thumb sticks is supposed to be positioned in. This is not that optimal, but the Xbox joystick layout and the controller itself makes it harder for you to have optimal binds. However, these binds should keep you good for the time being, but I highly suggest switching to claw or paddles if you want to keep using an Xbox controller. For the building section, once again, keep it as the same as Builder Pro. And finally, for the editing section, I recommend RB to select RT to reset and LB to confirm similar to the PlayStation controllers. However, for the Xbox controllers, I do suggest using edit on release because it might be difficult with non-claw on the Xbox controllers to not use edit on release. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Turn on post notifications so that you're notified of videos like this. Um, so close to monetization and your subscription, your like, your share will definitely help this video you know, get me the monetization. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.